full moons combined with the hottest weather of the season has geese doing funny things during this three-day tour. On a morning when Mel is tired, stressed and running late, his honkers just won't cooperate. He scrambles, but is it enough to save the day? I get frustrated as geese abandon the next day's hunt site and I just can't lay my eyes on ducks feeding in a hidden basin. What you see in this game isn't always what you get. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. It is about 10 after four. We're just getting ready to head out. Got to leave the, leave the lodge by 4.30 because uh, we got a 50 minute drive and got to cut some willows and stuff this morning, dress up the blinds. So it's an early one. The bigger the spread, longer it takes, farther the distance, got to get up early. This is just like we would be on opening day. Same old thing, get them up early and then you got a railroad to get them out of the lodge. We're always late, it never, it never seems to change. Group to group, you got one guy. <laughs> it sometimes gets to be funny though. Let's go, Bill. Moving long ways away, buddy. Last guy at the door. Let's go beat him up. All right. Like Just checking wind finder. He's playing games with me a little bit here. I'm gonna set up for the north, northwest, southeast kind of thing because of the big bush, so we can go either direction. You know what I'm saying? And the setup that I'm gonna set up this morning, I, I, I'm uh, doing a spread on both sides of the bush anyway. What I'm doing is a lazy H, so it's going to work either way. So we're gonna get at her. Oh, 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 oh. Those are honks. <laughs> Might get some action here, maybe. I'll tell you when, they're coming straight in front. Don't get hasty on that door. They didn't like something. Okay, we got some honkers right in front. Now what are they gonna do? Oh, right, 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 off to the right. Get ready, guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Rip them, rip them, rip them, rip them! Just jump out and let's grab them birds real quick. All right, those are coming, guys. Get down. What the heck? Okay, I, we got that one bunch yeah, coming. We got both of them. Oh, they're gonna land. Okay, that's that's okay. Okay, just get get, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh, well, they're flaring. There's something. I wondered if our decoys ain't shining a little bit. Everything's working for us other than the geese. And I don't think it's the spread. Well, I know it's not. Come on, you guys. None of them are doing it. Yeah, the birds aren't really doing it here this morning. They're not feeding. I've got another real smoker hunt just down the road here, three and a half miles. Got to go see the farmer. Uh, Left the hunt here, want to, want to see him while he's still in his yard before he gets into the field. And we'll get that smoker for tonight and uh, 
finish these guys off right if possible. Farmer's just up the road here. We are in. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. So I think I'll just pull the trailer out there and pack up. All right. Well, you can pack up, and then we'll meet over there and assess the situation. Sounds like a plan, man. All right. Okay. You bet. Yep. Bye. Bye. -bye. Good. In for a crushing, I hope. Straighten his day out. That's what it's all about. Well, Mel hunted this morning, honkers. Uh, the honkers didn't cooperate. Yeah. Uh, well, we had tough conditions. Full moon last night. Real warm weather today. We've had some good hunting weather for the last couple of weeks, but. Uh, I think he got eight honkers this morning, so we got a big, big afternoon. We gotta, we gotta redeem ourselves here. So we're just here watching a, a field of specks, lots of specks, some snows and ducks. We're just uh, gonna try to pin it out here for Mel. He'll probably go back in this afternoon with these guys and try to, to clean up a duck limit and uh, a bunch of geese. It's a tall order, so. Definitely not ideal hunting conditions, but lots no. of opportunity, lots of volume. Here. Well, what, what do you do? I mean, we got to try and pull it off for this afternoon, so I think the big thing is, is if a guy can talk a couple guys into it, come back here early and set up a spread to die for. And then, yeah. I, and then I, I think the spread will do it. Yeah, sure. Lay down blinds, and we got lots of straw in here. Pile of decoys. Pile of decoys. <laughs> Yeah. Well, should we cruise out there and have a look? Yeah, let's go take a look. We're on! I'm on my way to a duck hunt, which was a combo last night. Watch it this morning, the geese didn't go in, which shows you how quick things change. Uh, and I don't know why the geese didn't go in, they're just being geese, you know, they come in, Locked 300 yards, spilling air. They got within 50 or 80 yards of where they fed last night and they just lifted off and went away and the ducks were all there. So it's not like there's anything spooking them. It's just geese being geese, you know? Uh, anyhow, I'm gonna go check it out and we'll keep you posted. Hopefully I'm hunting in the morning. I don't see any ducks flying. Oh, I hear my brakes squeaking back. Sounds like there's a rock in there. That's gonna scare the birds. Yeah, there it is. I just heard it. Yeah, it's in the drum. There we go. There they go, they're going right in the same puddle I had. Oh, there's a few geese too. Oh, yeah, the geese are going in. Let's see if they go in near the puddle and the ducks are there. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Small puddle too, must be. Because they're coming in, they come over the pond, and they drop down like Harrier jets, which is good. Now I just need to hear what they're doing. Hey Brad, how's it going? Ah, good, good. I'm in whisper mode. I'm within, within 250, 300 yards. I can see the ducks pouring in there now. I'm gonna be fine on the ducks, I think. Okay, we'll let you know. Bye bye, bye, bye. We had a bunch of snow geese show up, so we're gonna see if we can get some. You brought the double rack again. I did. Never enough decoys. Well, <laughs> we got lots of birds in here. We may, we may not use them all, but we got them if we need them. I'll just give them a hand. It's a big setup. Figured to give my little buddy a hand. Well, we're trying to target their ducks. And there's a bunch of uh, speckle bellies in here and a couple thousand snow geese. So we're gonna try and get them all. You know, if we can pick up our specks and get our ducks, that's the most important thing. If we can whack 40 or 50 snow geese would be great. Don't know if that's gonna happen. It's pretty early in the year for the snows, but we'll see how it pans out.
It's hot today. We don't have a lot of wind. It's too bad. We got a huge hunt here. Uh, we'll see how it pans out here about 8 o'clock tonight. Let them get here. Kill them! Okay, guys, get ready. Kill them! Who shot him, Jim? Breaked it. I didn't fire a shot. I couldn't. Well, get in. They might come back. You never know. Snow geese are funny that way. Get out front. Hurry out front. These come over and rip them. Kill them, boys! Not good. They're killable. We had some good wind that set right up, but without the wind, we got to just... Oh, 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 oh. Kill him, kill him, kill him! <laughs> this one's coming back. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Good, shot, <laughs> good shooting, boys. Okay, this time, boys. Not this one. Kill him! Kill those two! Kill that one on top of you. Nice shot. That's the way to whack them up, boy. Oh, all right. Single, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, get ready. Kill them if you can. He might just fold up. Yep, there he goes. I knew I hit him. <laughs> I knew you did too, Jim. Oh, look at that. That's the show right there. Yeah, I've seen about 15 or 20 flights. I don't dare go, go any closer. Um, was what's going to happen. Those ducks are going to be... They'll either fly out or walk out, and all of a sudden we'll be standing here and they'll walk out over the hill, and we don't want to bust up this hunt. I'd like to know the volume, and I don't know how many are in there, but we, you know, when you've got such a contained hunt like this, and I count 17 or 18 flights go in there, that's all I need. They're committed. We'll have lots of cover. We'll throw out a few floaters. Should be able to get them. As far as a goose hunt goes, not really digging it. There's, there's a few in there. Just given the situation, probably not worth the effort to set up on those. Hunt the ducks and get out and regroup and hunt the geese in the afternoon somewhere else, you know? Every hunt is a surprise. I mean, I've seen the ducks. There's always a little bit of apprehension because you're going in there going, well, what's going on? But um, the reality is, is once the ducks leave, I'll go in with my big flashlight and I'll have a look and I'll, and I'll pin the puddle and I'll see what I need for cover. I'll see how deep the pond is, or at least I'll know what's going on. and. Figure it out at dark. But right now, life's good. Okay, get ready, guys. Kill him! Hey, way to go, Kane! All right! Good shooting, boys. Kill him, guys. Rip him, boys. We haven't counted yet, but I think we're around 22. The 
Uh, we got the dogs working. They just picked up another one, so that's really good. So who knows? You know, we could be, we might be closer to the limit than we thought. I, I had to pick up because I knew we were over 20. So I know there's at least two more out there. So I don't want to get hasty and shoot something and then be over the limit. So it's better to be one under or two under than two over. I think the hunters really enjoyed it. That's what I get out of it. They were having fun and they shot really well. So yeah, now now we got to pick up this massive spread. <laughs> There's always a downside to this. Okay, they're leaving. They're going back to roost. That's all I needed to see right there. It's just time for them to go. Okay, let's uh, we'll inch a little bit closer. And they might, they might be, and I want to see the duck trails and the evidence of feeding around the pond. When we walk in there, I can almost guarantee you that there'll be duck trails and evidence of feed right in these first few swaths. So, and I know this morning they're on, with the way the wind was out of the west, they were on that side, and today they're on this side. And we, we didn't see them feed just because they're in a basin. And it's very typical, if they don't fly, you don't see them feed, so they just, and uh, those few geese that are over there, two totally independent situations. We'll either leave them there or I'll throw a few floaters. And a few of those geese in the, yes, this morning went to puddle. They didn't go right to feed, so there might be some opportunity for us to call in a few geese. But when we shoot our ducks, we're out of here. Let's have a look. All damp. All damp in here. Feathers. Feathers. And duck sign. I knew it. <laughs> Look at this duck trail. This is cool. And that right there is why we didn't see him fly. We saw him puddle, and then we heard him. And if I went to sat here long enough to see those 15 or 20 flights go in, it doesn't look like much of a duck hunt, you know? And that's how a lot of times guys just don't find the ducks. The pin is in. I'll just check my phone. Yep, that's the one. Beautiful. Boy, you got a few, did you? Yeah, yeah, it was good. What's in here? It's just like a jack in a box. Oh man, am I so? Yeah. <laughs> what are you tired for? You only have to load 22. Wait till you have to load 222. I know. What are you gonna do then? More arthritis medicine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. First snows of the year. Well, first more than three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. D, Hi. did you have fun? I had a great time. Great did you? Time. You like shooting those snows? I, I tried to shoot them. There you go. <laughs> they were fun. Yeah, they're good. Did they do it nice? He set it up perfectly. Really? Right on. Good, good, great good. Great setup. You guys had a good time. Nice. Fabulous. 24 specs, that's good. That's uh, good 24 stuff. specs, 11 ducks, and 13 snows. Oh, I thought I heard 22 snow. No, 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 I got 24 spin. Oh. Ah, well, only 13. I thought you were a professional. <laughs> I thought you were a professional now. I had to believe me. I was in here. Little redemption. Well, thank you for the help, buddy. That's it, yeah. We got her done. Good? You guys know the drill, right? There's, we'll just use this type of grass, and then we'll just slide the box. I'll slide the boxes in. So, dress the boxes here, okay. so you don't flatten all that because there's not much cover there. Dress, and then I'll just slide them in, and we'll be good to go. Okay. But don't use this stuff because it's way no. too yellow. Yeah, it's too yellow for what for right here. This one's so well covered. I think we can get you right in the trough, right on the duck trail. Sounds awesome. Okay. To me. Let's do this. Five on the right, guys, get ready. Right here, right here, right here. Ready, these three? Go, 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 go! Nice shooting, boys. Two ducks right out front, guys. Here they come. Ready, ready? Roll them, roll them, roll them. Nice. This one right here. Someone shoot that duck right there. 
Nice, oh, nice shot. Ah, oh, wing fell off. Are you kidding? How does that happen? Oh, or did someone shoot the wing off? Jim, you shot my personal robo duck. Oh, and he was so smooth. Jim. Oh, out front. Out front, out front, right out front, guys. Get ready. Get ready, Craig. Go, 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 go. Oh, owie. Hey, Craig. Ready, ready? Go, 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 go. Those are perfect. Nice. Someone's quick on the right there. D, is that you? Oh, right here, guys. Ready? Go, 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 go! Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Two, ready? Hold tight, hold, 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 hold. Go, 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 go! That was nice. <laughs> out front, out front. Here we go, guys, on the way in. <laughs> hold. Right here, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Ready? Roll them, boys, let's wrap it up. One more, one more, one more. Nice shot. Hold tight. Straight up, straight up. Go, guys, go. You can kill those. Easy shot. Nice, nice. Watch your head, watch your head. Nice shooting, boys. That was sweet. You know, I mean, it was, uh, it worked. We had a few nice flights coming to do it, and then, you know, they must have started stacking up in another puddle, so you could see them coming in and get drawn over there. But the hunters loved it because it, it was a prolonged hunt. You know, it's quarter after eight. We're out here for, you know, hour and a half, and normally we're out of here in 15 or 20 minutes, and, you know, they'd just as soon uh, get more shooting in, so. We're done, done on ducks, and, and then uh, we got two really big options for tonight, so we're ready to go, should be good.